so today is going to be another Q&A video. And as you can see from sort of my surroundings, you can't see any surroundings. <laughs> I'm trying a new thing. I've got a new um, backdrop screen thing with different colours and I just thought this is quite a nice sort of way to do a video. It's quite professional. Um, I've got my beautiful softboxes and everything just seems really fun. So I set all this up because it came in the mail today and I was like, what video? am I gonna do? And a Q&A is what my friend recommended, Rain. She said, should we do what should you do? And I said, she said, you should do a Q&A. So I was like, all right, I'll do that. So, so two hours ago, I posted on Instagram um, this picture, which is just my generic picture that says Q&A time. And I asked you guys to comment and I've got already over 50 comments in two hours. So I will definitely try my best to get through all of these. I love doing Q&As. I must do them more often because I know you guys love hearing your names coming out. Um, and it's just a really good way to communicate with you guys. So, I'm gonna go right to the top and let's just get into it. All right, the first question is from Miss Jayami. I don't know. Um, if you could only use one for the rest of your life, would you choose mascara or foundation? I would choose, I think I've, this is in another q and I've said that I can't have sort of foundation without anything on top. Actually, no, that's a lie. I'll probably go with foundation. Katie Jones, um, 02. Have you ever visited Wales? Love you. Um, yes, actually, I was in Wales a few days ago. I was in Cardiff. Um, I go to Cardiff a lot. I've been, I've been to Cardiff and I've been to Barry Island, um, because I watch Gavin and Stacey. It's one of my favourite TV shows ever and obviously that's set in Cardiff and Barry Island so um, I went there and I actually went to like Stacey's house and everything like that and went to the pier on Barry Island. Um, when I went to Cardiff a few days ago it was to see Miranda Hart at the uh, Motorpoint Arena so that was when I was in Wales. OMFG Patty, where do you see yourself in five years time? Okay five years time that means I would be 23 Oh my gosh. In five years time, do you know what? My final answer five years time is I'd like to see myself doing this for my living and possibly finding another career path where I would be my own boss. Um, I'm sort of looking into options at that now and it's just something that I know I can achieve but it's going to take time. So I see myself in a stable job um, being my own boss. Chelsea Alabella Vita. That is such an awesome name, Alabella Vita. That's awesome. If there was only one YouTuber you could collab with for the rest of your YouTube career, who would it be? Okay, now this is gonna sound bad because I really want to say Britney because that's what I've been doing. But if we could just say like any YouTuber like in the whole world that I could pick, Ciao Bella. Ciao Bella without a doubt, you guys know she's my biggest inspiration ever. So Ciao Bella, I'd love to be best friends with her. What would you do if this time next year you would hit a million subscribers? I, you know, you know what, to be honest with you, I have not got the first clue of what I would do because that would be like literally more than a dream come true and it, it won't happen, well, it could happen but I, it won't happen um, that quick but if it did, I wouldn't even know what to do. It'd be like winning the lottery except it's throughout your whole life which is incredible so I... I would just be completely and utterly ecstatic and I would do the world's biggest giveaway, I promise you. I do like, I do like, I don't know, the biggest makeup giveaway ever and there'll be like 20, 50 winners, like, that would be amazing, I would do that. Carla Taylor XX, if you were to create your own makeup line and had to choose between making lip glosses, eyeshadows or blush it, blushers, which one would you choose? That's super good question. Okay, between lip glosses, eyeshadows, or blushers. So out of out of all of those, I guess I'd come out with my own blushers line because I love blushers and that gives me a shades of pinks and really nice neutral colors to work with. So I'm gonna say blushers, but if I could choose anything, lipsticks. Once again, OMFG underscore PATI. Is there a possibility for Brittany to come and visit you anytime soon? That would be amazing to see her, um, to show her what Bristol is like. I, you know what, I have a really, really strong positive feeling that she will be coming here anytime soon. I don't think so, but I still have a positive feeling that sometime in the future she will definitely find her way over here 
absolutely. So you guys, you know what, you can, I'm pretty much almost guaranteeing those vlogs for you, but um, we'll have to see. She really wants to, so we'll just have to see. Oh my goodness, this is the same person asking me a few, few times, so I'll go through these. She said, would you follow me please? I've said this before to you guys, I'm really sorry, but basically if I follow one person, I have to follow everyone. I can't just say yes to one person, and my Instagram is also personal, so I follow my friends and people like my other YouTubers and stuff, so... I just won't, I won't follow anyone just because otherwise my whole feed will just be people I don't know and those pictures. I hope you guys can appreciate that. I'm really sorry. What's your favorite makeup product that you bought from America? Oh my goodness gracious me. I think my favorite thing I literally brought back and I'm just saying this because I've used it the most. Probably, I really like my Kat Von D Locket foundation. Like I feel like I'm gonna get so much use out of that. So I'm gonna say that. Favorite candle from Bath and Body Works, Marshmallow Fireside. You're amazing, can I have a shout out? Shout out to OMFG underscore P-A-T-I. Uh, favorite beauty YouTuber, and if you watch vloggers, who are your favorites? Very beauty YouTuber, Chow Bella, um, without a doubt, she's always been my favorite from the beginning, and I watch vlog channels, I watch Britney EXO vlogs, of course, um, and I did watch It's Judy's Time, but I haven't been watching her for a while, I don't know why, I feel like I've been a bit more busy, so I haven't really had time, but I used to watch her religiously. Alisa Jinx, can you please come back to KL, I hate you for leaving. She's my friend in KL, and believe me honey, I really wish I could. But the time is just not right yet, and when the time is right, I will come back. The same person again, you should do a giveaway soon. I'm actually doing a giveaway currently. It's the one over on the, um, do do do, the Zoella video. I don't like to put giveaways in titles, that's just not my style. I don't want to sort of bring people in that way. So if you are a dedicated follower and watch all my videos, you will sometimes see I sneak giveaways into them and don't put them in the title. Sophie Cullen, does England feel like home, seen as you lived abroad for the majority of your life? Absolutely. England feels like I have been here for my whole life. At the beginning, it did take a little bit getting used to because everything was so, um, it was all sort of like a dream. I was sort of getting everything I wanted. I was doing my ha my room the way I've always wanted to do it. And it all seemed like a bit of a, a bit too much of a hype sort of thing. But now I've really settled in. I've been here for nearly two years. Um, I, well no, not nearly two years. I've been here for about a year and a half now. I am so settled in and I can't say how much I love it. Tilly Horan, she asked two questions. The first one, what is your favorite season and why? P.S. Love your videos. Favorite season is winter. I love winter. I love it when it's cold and we have to get all our big snowy jackets on. I love it if it snows. Um, I just love winter so much. It's cozy. I feel like we always have to have nice sort of warm drinks and things like that. I just love winter. She also asked if you had to visit anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? I would love to go back to America. I have, you guys know I've been to Chicago. That's the first time I've ever been to the USA. For my 21st birthday, I am going to be going to Las Vegas. I've decided it already. My parents are in Vegas right now and they said that they know I will love it. So, um definitely be going to Vegas but the one place if I could go anywhere oh geez Louise there's quite a few actually I'd love to go to Croatia I feel like I'm gonna be going there next year that's sort of the holiday I want to do next year because Croatia is somewhere I've never been and it is just looks like paradise Tiam Kom Kormik sorry I really don't know how to pronounce that how old were you when you started using makeup I love you smiley face like kissy face kissy face I was looking back on pictures actually, and I think I started using makeup, like I always used to sort of put a little bit of eyeshadow on or, and it was dreadful, I never <laughs> used to do it properly, um, but probably when I was like 12 I started experimenting with like little bits of eyeshadow, completely nothing like it is now, just a little bit of eyeshadow or a little bit of concealer, doing it all wrong by the way. And then probably when I was 14 I started to think I could do makeup and I was doing it bad, um, and I wasn't watching YouTube at the time, I don't think, oh no I was watching YouTube at the time. Yeah, I was watching them, I wasn't doing them. So yeah, I just sort of then started to really get into it when I was 15, I think. I started to actually buy different foundations and really get into makeup and start watching makeup YouTubers. So that's where the inspiration came from. So about 15 was when I properly started to do my own makeup. Uh, eHacker2002, what is your favorite foundation, concealer, and eyeshadow palette? Favorite foundation of all time? 
probably so far I have to say is my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. It is just a safe one I know I can go to. I love a matte face and it's got that still a little bit of natural dewiness to it but it's matte like the dewiness is underneath. It's really weird. It's lovely. Um, and my favourite concealer is definitely the Collection 2000 concealer. It's cheap and cheerful. And then my favourite eyeshadow palette I own, I'm going to have to say the one I use the most is probably the Naked Basics. Leaf X Cheryl X Gax? G-A-X? If you could be one celebrity for the day, dead or alive, who would you be and why? P.S. I love you. Paris Hilton. I just, you guys, I know mean, a lot of people don't like her, but I really like her. I feel like she just lives the life of a Barbie doll. She's so glamorous and everything. So I would be Paris Hilton for a day, definitely. STFU, I'm not going to say it, Daisy. Um, is there anything you can't get let go of, but you know you should? Oh, that's a really good question. Oh, I know. My Revlon Colorstay foundation. I've literally had it for about three years. It's so bad and I have like about half of it left and I know I should throw it away but I just can't let go of it because they've changed the packaging now and I feel like I will never be able to get the same product again. But I really can't let go of it because I was clearing out my makeup and I was like I need to get rid of this but I just couldn't so that's what I'm gonna have to say. Same person, would you consider doing a Christmas meet up in London? P.S. Love you. I am not going to be in London this Christmas, I don't think. I would love to. I may be, because I've got a few friends that are there now. But I'll be in London a lot more next year, because obviously I'll be there for IMATS. Um, you can guys already guarantee I'm going to that, and I'll be going to the pro day and one of the regular days. I'll probably be in London a lot more next year, because I've got a few friends from Malaysia moving over to London, uh, so I'll be up there more often. Also, I'm going to be up in Manchester quite a bit now as well. I I don't know. Anything could happen though, but I'm going to have to say no for now. Star Sparkles 31 do you have a boyfriend? I don't have a boyfriend currently. I am kind of loving... I've loved being single for the past few years, um, and... I kind of think I'm ready now to start looking for a boyfriend. I have a lot of friends that are guys, so I'm kind of okay, but I I think I want to look for a boyfriend now. STFU Daisy. Do you remember someone you hated 10 years ago? That makes me eight. Okay. Um, does it matter now? If you died now, would you have any regrets? Okay, so that's sort of like two questions. The first one, I would say 10 years ago, that would have made me eight. <gasps> I don't think so. I've never hated anyone in my life. Uh, like, really, well, that's probably a lie, but I can't think of who. I feel like I really hated someone, and I just... Anyway, even if I did, I wouldn't say it, because I don't know who watches my videos that I know, so I wouldn't say it, who it was. I don't think so. I was eight, so I would have been just like, meh, whatever. So I'm gonna say no to that, and it says... If you died now, would you have any regrets? I would regret, the only thing I would regret, and this is going to sound kind of weird to some people, is not being able to write a will. Like, you, it's stupid, but write a personal will. Like, write it myself. Um, and it's something that I, I keep saying to myself, I need to do, but I just can't bring myself to actually write a will. I'm 18. Um, I can't find, I just can't bring myself to actually type what I want to happen if I died young. But it's something I think I would regret if I died, because I wouldn't know because I've died, but um, it, I just feel like it would be something like a list of things to tell people, things to give people. I just think it's a really good idea, but um, I just can't bring myself to do it. Tyler Kate 2711 would you ever do YouTube as a full-time job? That is my dream job, and I do hope to in the future. I really, really do. I, I just, I... I hope so much. Uh, Lee F X Cheryl X G A X. Uh, what What is the one thing you've always wanted to do but been too scared to do it? Something I want to do is definitely jump out of a plane with a parachute, uh, but I'm not scared of doing that. Something I'm scared of doing, but I don't. Oh, I don't know. I'm not scared of. I'm really not scared of of much, to be honest. I'm scared of like jumpy out things, like actually scary things, like. I love those shows though, so I'm sort of a daredevil where I love it, but I hate it, so I don't know. There's really nothing I think that I would be too worried to do that I can think on the spot, so really sorry about that. Sikhar, 
uh, hello, how are you and how do you been? How is your day going? Love you, gorgeous. My day is going great. It is currently 2.19 p.m. and I am filming this video. Um, I'm here alone with little Milo, who is not in the shot because I'd have to lower the camera. Um, and the day is going fabulously. Hey person again, what has been the strangest question someone has ever asked you? Oh. <laughs> oh. You guys put me on the spot so much, I really don't know. Anna Sadikaj2? Sorry. Is Brittany going to come to the UK and stay with you? P.S. You're amazing and I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you for all the support. Um, Brittany, I hope she is. She has no plans to, but she really, really wants to. And it says, will you be making any Halloween DIYs? I was thinking about it, but I'm not the best person when it comes to Halloween. Like, I, well, I, I'm okay with it. I love the whole spooky aspect, but well, I'm definitely going to be doing Christmas DIYs this year, without a doubt, guys. Same person again, Lee IFX, Cheryl X Gas. Healthy snacks or sweets? Healthy snacks, I don't like sweets, so that's a good thing. Libby Bennett, what's your favorite song? At the moment, my favorite song is probably, well, I have quite a few. My favorite song at the minute, why am I doing a little dance? The song's not even on. <laughs> I love, I like us better when we're wasted. It makes it easier to say it. I shouldn't sing it, but you know. Um, and I love Anywhere From You by John Martin. I will go anywhere for you. Yeah, so good song, good song, good song. Anna Sadi Kijad 2, can you do a healthy snacks video? I am not the best person to ask about that. As you can see, I don't do healthy snacks. I, well, I, I do do healthy snacks, but I don't go out of my way. I just sort of pick out the lighter crisps or the, or the um, bread with no butter sort of thing. I'm just that sort of person. I don't take too much interest in that, but I don't like to buy things that are really full fat. Jules asks, how do you deal with hate comments? Like I've said before, I am very blessed not to have too many hate comments, but the ones that I do get sometimes do get under my skin and it is quite hard to resist. But what I do nowadays, I've just decided, is just a lot easier for uh, to block someone from your channel. If they said something really horrible, like I don't block people who give constructive criticism, but people who are just blinkly out there like, you're a slut, you're horrible, you're effing, essing, all those words completely blindly saying that, I just ban them from my channel straight away. There's a little button I can click that says ban from the channel and I will also delete the comment so it's just gone and they're gone so it makes everything better. Wow okay this is all the same person who's asked this so I'm just going to answer this. Do you ever play practical jokes on anyone? If so who and what other practical joke you pulled? I never ever do jokes. I fail them quite badly. Favourite childhood TV show? Teletubbies! There's so many, but I love Teletubbies and I loved to totally spy when I was a little bit older. If you could merge two animals together, what would they be and what would you call it? Okay, I'm gonna go back to the question that asked me what was the weirdest question you've ever been asked. I'm gonna answer this one. I wouldn't want to merge any animals together. Um, I love little animals. I no, I'm fine. I know this question probably came off a bit. I'm reading it the wrong way, but still, I just probably couldn't answer that for the mental image it would give me. Do you have anything unusual you can do? I can make a really, really deep voice. Like, have you guys seen the house bunny? I can make a really well, like weird demonic voice. Like, if it's just kind of weird. So, like, you know, in the house bunny, how she remembers the names. Like, she'll go in and she'll see Emily. She's like, "Hi, I'm Emily," and she goes, "Emily." I'm sure a lot of people can do that, but I can do it and I go, Emily. <laughs> that was so attractive, wasn't it? I know, right? No, so I can do a really deep voice and... I don't know. This I hate these. I should probably read them and think of answers before I do this, but I just like to be put on the spot. So I'm going to just say my deep voice is something cool I can do. And also, I am a fully qualified scuba diver and I can take my regulator out under my under the water and and smile and take pictures. I guess that's something. I don't know. <laughs> it's Alana Exo. What's your favorite part of going to America? The shops. <laughs> and apart from this trip, Brittany was one of the best parts as well. But the shops, I think she can agree with me, is one of the best things about America. Same person. Can you do any impersonations? I can do Consuela from Family Guy. Um. Okay. This is gonna be really weird. Mr. Superman is no home. Mr. Joe, Mr. Bonnie, Mr. Mort, Mr. Muriel, Mayor West, Mr. I love Family Guy. 
Liv Sapphire, if you could only use one makeup product for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? By the way, I love you so much. Thank you. I would say I would just use eyeliner because you can get away with eyeliner, um, but not anything on the rest of your face. So I'd say eyeliner, black eyeliner. In person, what is your favorite Disney movie? I really like uh, Sleeping Beauty. Mel XOXOX. Will you ever come to Sydney, Australia? And if so, would you do a meetup? I've already been to Sydney. A few years ago, I've been to Sydney. Um, it's a, such a beautiful place. The Sydney Opera House and the bridge. Oh my goodness. And do you know what I always wanted to do when I was at Sydney? Do the walk across the bridge on the top. I would love to have done that. But at the time, I think I was too young and we just couldn't do it. But we went to the Sydney Opera House and we sat sort of on the steps around there and took some really nice pictures. I just loved Sydney and I loved Australia. I love it. Vicky's... Vicky's Yerob. If you could wake up tomorrow in the body of someone else, who would you be and what would you do? I'm just going to say the same person, Paris Hilton, and I would just literally change into every outfit possible that she owns, try on every handbag, go out, get papsed, and literally just shop until I drop. Literally buy everything. Seriously. Rainbow cookies are, how tall are you? Love your videos. I think I'm about... 154 I think I'm not all that tall but I'm not short I'm sort of just average size I think Tammy Beauty Beauty I don't know do you have an SO if not what are you looking for in one a significant other um I have not got a significant other I am like I said I am looking for one I want a guy who is determined in what he does, who knows what he wants to do, is successful at what he does. Um, I'm quite a picky person, but at the same time, I'm not. Like, I just want someone who's not gonna mess around, who wants to have a good life, wants to have a family, um, have a lot of fun, because I really want a guy who can just forget the world and just focus on the people he's with and the moment he's in. And I feel like that's really hard to find nowadays. Every All the guys just worry about, you know, what they look like, who they're with, is this okay? I just think it is a load of rubbish because all the people in the world, they don't matter. If you're in a little bubble with yourself and this other person, I, ha I get like that with my friends. The world doesn't matter to me. I'm with my friends in that moment and that is all that matters. I don't have one, but I just want a guy who can forget the world, but has a very good sense of knowing what he wants to do with his life and someone who is, uh, as an advantage, someone who who is uh, quite wealthy. That would be a very good advantage, but not necessary. L-E-O-D-J-E-R underscore X. How did you get into makeup? Love you. YouTube. YouTube was the reason my life is what it's like today. I started watching the YouTube videos of people doing makeup tutorials and following beauty gurus, and that's where my passion started from. Final question from Sha X N N X F. Who's your favorite beauty guru? And I have already answered this and said, Ciao, Bella. Oh, and we've got a whole bunch more coming through. I'm so sorry about this, guys. Okay, there's uh, three more. Uh, Chloe Briano X. If you could choose to go to meet up, who would you go to meet? Zoe Sug or Tanya Burr? I don't watch Tanya Burr, so I'm going to have to say Zoe Sug. Nitro underscore Nitro X. If you could only keep one base item, one eye item, and one lip item, what would you choose? I would keep my Bourjois Healthy Mix foundation, and as my eye item, I would keep my, I'm going to cheat and say my Naked Basics palette, and my doo -doo -doo lip item would definitely be my NYX Butter Gloss in fun size. Final question, Jessie underscore abs, what's your favourite thing when going to IMATS? <laughs> well, it's simple, my favourite thing going to IMATS is meeting you guys last year was incredible and I can only imagine what this year is going to be like well next year because we're still in this year but next year this year was just so amazing that I got to meet you guys it was just like oh I can't even say it was incredible it was just insanely incredible I loved it it made everything seem so real, and I mentioned this in my IMATS vlog, but that was definitely my favourite thing, aside with obviously all the beautiful makeup brands that are there. Okay, this video has been far too long, I'm really sorry, and I'm sorry if I didn't get your question, guys, because 
Um, I only let this sit for about two hours out on there. I will hopefully be doing another Q&A soon. Do you guys like these? Do you like hearing your names? And did I answer all your questions? I'm so sorry I couldn't answer a few of them because I'm just too much on the spot. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you love this little setup. I won't be able to do it all the time because I do need a lot of space for the setup. But it is something that I can do now and again. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one. Have a great day guys. Ciao.